My husband and I were wanting to adopt a special needs child and a friend introduced us to Paul and we contacted him and let him know if he ever did get a special needs situation that we would be very interested. first week of June, Paul contacted me about a baby born in May that had a lot of special needs. He wanted $10,000 before we could see him and get more medical information. And we paid that. I flew to Phoenix, was picked up and taken over to the hospital, and uh, the birth mom was with us. And as soon as we saw him, his precious little boy hooked up to a lot of tubes and um, just kind of the look in his eye of, oh, somebody's here. I can't really explain it. And then to get to hold him. And we held him at Phoenix Children's. And for three weeks, we got to just hold him solid and rock him and feed him and talk to him and take tons of pictures and so forth. And then with some more surgeries that he needed, he ended up going on life support and we could no longer hold him. So we would go over and rub his hand and he would hold our finger and the connection was just, I mean, it was there. We were his parents. We were the only ones that he knew. So I'm holding this child that you want to just snuggle. And the only thing, you know, I could do was talk to him and thank him for being a part of our life and help bringing us to, we were able to help some other people and he touched a lot of lives. He touched a lot of lives. There was just no return for him. And when there's little tears coming out of his eyes, he just kind of felt like he was pleading with you, can, can you just let me go? And I wanted him to make that decision, you know. And then he did pass on August 24th, um, which was extremely difficult because I held him until he passed. And we spent some time with him. We never adopted him, we just had guardianship to make medical decisions and so forth. He didn't have a family. We were the only family he knew. And so we flew him from Phoenix uh, back to Utah, and he was buried next to another child of ours. It's a chunk of your heart that's missing that can't be replaced. And during the whole time, and all the ups and downs, we never saw Paul once. I reached out to him, wanted to meet him, and he's only 30 minutes away from the hospital, he said. And that was hard, because you're in Arizona. You, you get the support of the other NICU moms, but it would have been nice to see that there was some concern from him as well.